Today's episode is brought to you by Bones Coffee Company. You can forget about boring coffee when you drink Bones Coffee. Not only do they offer a variety of flavors such as strawberry cheesecake and maple bacon, they are a family-owned company that puts great detail not only in their coffee, but in the artwork that comes on each individual bag. Bones Coffee has a coffee club that will deliver your favorite coffee to your door every month. If that wasn't enough, they also have some amazing swag to offer. Check out Bones Coffee Company today. I'll have my affiliate links in the show notes for you. Hi guys, today is another episode of Sonova's True Crime Stories in the News. Today we're talking about a possible new uh, victim of the BTK killer. Um, maybe we have possibly identified a another victim that was previously unknown. Now this girl's name was Cynthia Dawn Kinney. She was 16 years old. She was last seen June 23rd of 1976. Now her case went cold pretty quickly and there has been very few leads on this. It's been you know, cold for quite a while. And uh, she ended up getting a new cold case investigator on her case. In his downtime, he happened to recently watch the documentary of the BTK killer. And while he was watching this, he happened to come across some information that was startling. Now, the BTK killer called his victims projects, and he kept journals and, and notes on these projects. He also liked to taunt the police. So he would send uh, kind of like uh, coded crossword puzzles and, and different types of codes to the police just to taunt them. Now, one of these word search crossword type puzzles he sent 20 years ago not only mentioned Cynthia Don's name, it also, I called her Cindy, which was her nickname, Cindy Kinney. He also mentions the Osage laundromat that she was kidnapped from and the town that she was kidnapped from, all in this word puzzle that he sent to police. Now, law enforcement believes that that, along with a few other strange details, that she could possibly be uh, one of his unknown victims. Now, there's a feud between the sheriff's office and the DA's office um, but over whether the BTK killer was involved or not. Dennis Rader has not admitted to this killing as of yet. Um, but jailhouse phone calls also reveal some more information um, that talks about some similarities between uh, this case and uh, some of the things he's already, he's already uh, admitted to. Now, if that's not enough to convince you that this needs a, you know, an in-depth study on this, on the journals that Dennis Rader kept, on the day that Kenny went missing, he put Project PJ colon bad wash day. And she was kidnapped from that local laundromat. So what do you think? Do you think um, Cynthia Kenny could have actually been uh, killed by the BTK killer? Uh, give me your opinions in the comments and let me know what you think.